<clears throat> okay, guys, we're moving right along here. Lesson eight, we're going on to inequalities. This is all kind of algebra one review stuff, but still good to hit on, make sure we got our basics down. Okay, so solve the inequalities and graph the solution. Okay, so we're gonna graph it on a number line. Okay, because there's gonna be more than one kind of answer on these. All right, so a couple examples. Number one, five X plus two is greater than or equal to negative 18. We'll solve it just like an equation. We'll think of that as a line and come bring everything down. So minus two on each side, five X, bring this symbol down. Got to blow my nose and negative 18 minus 2 is negative 20. Okay, divide each side by 5. X greater than or equal to negative 20 over 5 is negative 4. Okay, and then you're supposed to graph that solution out on a number line. So here's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 negative four. Uh, remember, closed circle. So if it's equal to, we put a closed circle there to show that it could equal negative four, but it's greater than or equal, meaning it's anything to this side. So darken this way, put an arrow to show that it keeps going. All right, so any solution over here, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two. Try it out, plug in, plug in zero. Five times zero is zero plus two, so zero plus two is two, is two greater than or equal to negative 18? Sure. So anything over here, if you plug it in, makes it true. Try plugging in negative five. Negative five times, or five times negative five, negative 25, negative 25 plus two is negative 23. Is that greater than negative 18? No, it's actually less. Negative 23 is actually less, so anything you plug in over here is gonna make it not true. You plug in negative four, it should be true also. All right, let's do one more. This one's a little different, so pay attention. Uh, same idea though, add three on each side. Negative seven X less than or equal to 28. Okay, the trick you might remember when you divide each side by a negative or multiply each side by a negative, in this case, divide each side by a negative, you actually do got to flip this, flip this sign around the other way. Okay, so x greater than or equal to um, negative, what, four? All right, so graph that out. Negative four again. It's actually the same answer, isn't it? Greater than or equal to, so I'll put a solid dot and graph to the right. Let me give you one more example just to show you something else that could come up. So number three, let's say, let's put um, six greater than without the equal to, two x plus two. Let's just do an easy one. Okay, minus two on each side. Two x divided by two. Okay, look what this says. It says two greater than X, right? So what I recommend is flip that whole thing around. It actually means X less than two. You should put the X in front, in other words, because then you can see this is actually saying X is less than two. So to graph that out, it's open circle, because it's strictly less than, not less than or equal to, and less than means to the left. So anything less than two. So again, if I plugged in zero here, zero should work, right? Because it's on the darkened part. So two times zero is zero. Zero plus two is two. Is two less than six or is six greater than two? Sure. Plug in three. Two times three is six. Six plus two is eight. Is six greater than eight? No. Okay, so anything out here you plug in won't work. Anything you plug in from here won't work. If I plug in two, it's not going to work. Check it, four plus two, six is six, less than six. No, six is not greater than six. So, you know, that's what that open circle means. Okay, so make sure you do solve it and make sure you do graph it out. Make sure you're turning in a copy of your notes to get credit on those too. 
Uh, four points for turning in your notes, four points for completing the assignment.